He's now a voice for those people. His wounds are now curing others. That's the potential of love. That's the power of it. The power of connection, the power of just changing your environment. So today I want to talk about a lack of connection, what loneliness can do to us, what our environments can do to us, and how powerful they actually are. So that video you just saw, I actually had to brag for a second because that was of my client, and that was a video that he actually made. Now what I'm not going to brag about is that used to be his life, that feeling, that sense of loneliness, that sense of complete detachment, wandering alone in life, having no connection to anything. He used to be addicted to cocaine. And I tell this because addiction is a really interesting thing that can show up in our lives, especially when we don't have an environment that is supporting us. Now, this client of mine, actually, I didn't know that side of him. I didn't know that person that you saw in the video. I only knew the John, that's his name, the John that shows up in life and is full of energy and is a voice for other people and is commanding his armies and all this stuff. And there was a time in his life where he was completely detached from life. But there was also a time in his life where he made a conscious choice to leave that life, to leave that environment that was no longer supporting him, that was no longer serving him, to love himself enough to literally put down the cocaine to walk out the door and to never interact with those people again. Now, it's interesting because I've always sort of been around this idea of addiction. My dad was an alcoholic actually, and I say that, but at the same time, I never really knew that side of him because I was four years old when he decided to quit cold turkey. Again, a very similar story. He reached this moment of threshold where he was just like, enough is enough never doing it again. Now why did he reach that moment of threshold? Because of love. Why did John reach that moment of threshold? Because of love. Love for himself. And addiction shows up in these very interesting ways again. For instance, I'm addicted to things. This, this thing right here, this phone, oh my gosh, I mean, I'm addicted. I look at it all the time. I'm constantly looking at my email. I'm constantly checking my Twitter updates. I'm constantly seeing if anybody liked this video which please like it and share it. But why? Because we're born to connect with people. We're born to interact. We're born to be with each other as a community. And when we get away from that, that's when these things start coming into our life. That's when they start taking over because we're ruled by it. How could we not be? So there was this interesting study done with rats recently where you had two groups. One group had a great environment, the other group had a terrible environment. They weren't connected with anyone, they were alone, they were by themselves isolated. Both groups had cocaine water and regular water. I don't know if it was exactly cocaine water, I don't know if that's the right term, but essentially that's what it was. Now, what do you think happened? Well, you can probably guess. The group in the really good environment with connection to others and all this stuff, who still had access to the cocaine water, didn't want it. They didn't need it, they just drank the regular water. This group over here, with a horrible environment, completely alone, dejected, all they wanted was the cocaine water. Now, again, we're not rats, but in some ways, this is how addiction can show up in our lives. This is how these things 
can manifest because we're trying to fill this gap of connection with some external things instead of filling it with the only thing that can actually fill it, and that is love. So, the amazing thing is, is that the potential for change is huge when love comes into play. I mean, I always think about that, and you know, it's not our job to make someone quit. It's not our job to make someone leave that life or change their environment. Instead, it is our job to love them. So make love your drug of choice and give it to everyone you know. Because when you do that, you're changing their environment, you're changing your own environment, you're connecting, you're loving. And I wonder what my client John would have been like if he hadn't had enough love for himself to drop that cocaine that day. Because now this movie he's making is going to spread love to those people who need to hear it most. He's now a voice for those people. His wounds are now curing others. That's the potential of love. That's the power of it. The power of connection. The power of just changing your environment. I wonder what my own life would have been like if my dad didn't love my family enough, love my mom enough to put down that alcohol. It's a really powerful thing to think about. And so I want you to think about, one, how can you change your environment for the better? It can be just a small change. I mean, what's the one thing you can do to make it better? Do you need to delete some people out of your life? Do you need to bring some other people into your life that are more loving, that are more supportive, that actually care about you and what you're doing? Two, how can you show your love to someone in need? Instead of judging them, instead of criticizing them, instead of looking at them like, oh my god, you're pathetic, how can you show them your love instead? And so I would love for you to share the love with someone who needs this, someone who needs this love more than you could know. And if it comes from you, that's such a powerful act. And you know what? Go over to their house too and give them a hug and just tell them you love them. Don't just share the video, okay? And as always, guys, Live in love and find your light. Thanks a lot. Have you ever been in a crisis and all of a sudden you just have this moment of complete peace? It's like a door inside of us waiting to be opened. But really the happiness is in here. What we're all trying to do really is find our way back to the light.